Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. It is Ijoma. So in today's video, we are going to learn how to sew this. This is the sewing tutorial of this particular shirt dress. My voice is somehow I have cold. That's why I did not upload this video yesterday. So we are going to continue from where we stopped the last time. We stopped at the cutting and marking the lines for our waist snatching. So right now we are going to start giving this shirt the waist snatching effects we are going to cinch the waist or should i say shape the waist so these are the lines we marked remember we marked three lines so from the center i will come in by two inches and i'll go in by two inches at the other side like we are going to have four inches space before we will start adding our darts for me i'm going to be adding two darts on each side of this dress i'm going to be adding two that means four at the front four at the back if you want to add more than for you will remember to add extra allowance for each dart that you are going to be adding so i added five inches for my dart that's why i want to take just two so i will fold and i will measure you are free to determine the wideness of your dart you can make it two inches or 1.5 or one so this one is two but later i made it just one inch because i added five inches seam allowance so this one you can see you go ahead and run a line from that that line you mark at the upper part of your at the top of your half length and you will stop at the line you marked below your half length and the lines will be straight just run a straight line and stop then i'll go ahead and pick another one this one is two two inches but later i adjusted it to one one inch like one inch on fold i use one one inch allowance for my that so this is the other side i'll go ahead and run another straight line it will start from the upper line and stop at the line below I am done adding the second dart and you can see that this waist is getting snatched already the waist is getting smaller so at the end of the day i told you guys that i readjusted this that i used two two inches at first then later i readjusted to one one inch so that the dress will be fitted and free at the same time on my body so i'll go ahead and pick the second dart i'll run a straight line then i'll pick the other side as well so you can see how the waist looks this is very fine and this is the inner part of this shirt i'm going to turn the outside so that you can see how the shirt looks what the shirt looks like from the outside so after doing this you are going to iron please if you are picking your darts make sure that your allowance is enough for it and after picking your darts remeasure your waist so that you'll be sure that your waist measurement is exactly what you want to have so after picking my darts i measured my waist and i noticed that the waist is a kind of smaller than what i wanted i had to go ahead and readjust this dart line so i have adjusted my dart line and everything i have here is okay if you want to pick your dart let's say four or five times you are free but remember to add extra allowance to your fabric to accommodate all the darts that you are going to be adding to your shirt so over to the back this is the back part of this shirt and i have the center line then i went in by two two inches at each side and i picked my darts you can see the darts i have at the back though i readjusted these darts again because my waistline became smaller than my normal waist measurements my waist measurements became smaller than my normal waist measurement so i had to readjust so after readjusting you go ahead and iron you can see i have ironed the waist for the front and i have done the same thing to the back so this is really easy it is up to you to pick your darts the way you want your darts to be so right now i am going to join the shoulder you can see that the shoulder of this shirt is very wide i am going to join the shoulder and after joining the shoulder i will fix my sleeve so i'll go ahead and join the shoulder then i'll come back i'll come back and show you guys this is what i have after joining my shoulder i'll open this shirt up i'll have to open it up before fixing my sleeve this method will be very easy just close your shoulder for now then we are going to introduce our sleeve you can see our armhole is a kind of straight i'll introduce my sleeve so this is my sleeve my sleeves are still open you can see i notched the center of the sleeve i'm going to pin down this sleeve around the armhole the sleeves are still straight the way we cut the sleeve out so i'll pin everything 
this is for the right side and after pinning the right side i will pin the other one then i'll go ahead and run a straight stitch i'll go ahead and join the sleeve to the shirt before doing my normal shaping so after pinning everything i will shape then i will fix my band for the band of this sleeve it is going to be a normal band i don't want to do the normal shirt band that has a button i used a normal band like the way we sew a puffy sleeve with a band that that's how I made my own sleeve. So I'll go ahead and join, then I'll come back and show you guys. This is what I have after joining my sleeve. Next thing is to fix my band. So you can see our shirt is taking shape already. This is what I have here. Now I will introduce my bands. I'll go ahead and gather this wider part of the sleeve around the band. Can see i'll go ahead and gather it then i'll repeat the same thing at the other side of the sleeve and our shirt is taking shape so after fixing the band i will go ahead and do my normal shaping i'm done fixing the band i will turn this dress inside out then i'll take my body measurements and i'm going to shape I am done shaping and this is what we have the dress is beautiful already so the only thing remaining now is the color for the down part i am going to hem my down part i'll just do my normal hemming then i will fix my color we are also going to draft the color that's why i did not draft it um, while cutting you have to finish your finish your shirt dress first then you measure your round neck before cutting out your collar so i'll measure my round neck and after measuring i got 17.5 inches so that is what i'm going to be cutting out my collar with then for the down part i'll go ahead and hem this is the pattern paper for my collar the collar is 17.5 right so on fold it should be around eight point something then the wideness of the width of the color base the color that we stand the width will be 1.5 you can see what i'm marking right here it will be 1.5 so i'll mark my 1.5 then i will draw a straight line for the color after drawing this this um color stand i am going to draft out the normal color like the color that i will fold so after doing that i'll come in by one one inch from the center of the collar i'll come in by one inch and from there i'll go up by two inches these two inches is the wideness of the reverse collar so this is what you have and then you curve the center of the collar this is not a proper collar tutorial i'm just doing it for the sake of this tutorial then from the center back i'll go up by half an inch then center front i'll go up by half an inch that is for the collar stand and at the end of the day i'll go ahead and cut out my collar so i'll divide this collar into two we have the collar stand and we have the normal collar so i'm going to cut off the reverse collar and i'm going to cut this color stand so this is what we have now we are going to cut it out on our fabric and we are going to be cutting two pieces for each of them and remember it to be on fold and if you are cutting you should add half an inch seam allowance around your color stand and around the normal color the normal shirt color so this half an inch will serve as a seam allowance it is really really important so this one is for the color stand and this one is for the reverse color the normal color then i'll go ahead and add half an inch seam allowance around it and after cutting i will cut out another one for this color that will serve like a lining this color will be double double so this is what i have at the end of the day i will go ahead and cut out extra for each of them that is the one that i'm going to turn the, them with so you can see this one it is two I am done cutting out the lining and you can see the reverse color it is two as well 
so right now i am going to close the reverse collar the collar that will fold i'm going to close the reverse collar so i am done closing and i will trim after trimming i will have to turn and iron i close the side and the upper part then the other part is open that is the part that i'm going to be joining to the collar stand so i left it open after trimming i went ahead to turn out the collar i turned the collar then after turning i gave it a nice press iron very very well after turning this is really really important use your scissors to push out the pointy parts so this is what i have i am done ironing and this is for the collar stand so i am going to turn this reverse collar with the collar stand i will fix it in between the reverse the collar stand you can see place it in between then cover with the other side of the collar stand then you go ahead and close you close round and you leave one side for the normal round neck so this is what i have it is in between and i have ironed this is what i have at the end of the day so right now i am going to fix this collar to my shirt before sewing this type of shirt you should have a basic knowledge basic knowledge in shirt making it really help you to understand what i am doing so i folded one part of the collar and ironed then i joined the other part of my shirt so at the end of the day this is what i have you are going to to mark the areas where you're going to fix your button and the button hole then you will go ahead and fix your button so this is the button that i'll be fixing but i couldn't fix all of them i didn't have so much time because i had to upload this video so guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, please do not forget to like and subscribe so that each time i upload you will see my videos also click on notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video you will be notified this is the final look of our dress our online classes registration for our online classes is ongoing we have corset jumpsuits blazer and we also have the trouser class please and um, please you can register those just, just drop a comment down here or you can chat me up on instagram at so with ijoma at so with ijoma thank you all and see you in my next video bye